Muddy effluent billowing from an underwater pipe at a farmed Atlantic salmon processing plant off Vancouver Island. The footage has gone viral, but First Nations here in BC say they aren't surprised by the images. We knew about these uh, practices. We knew about the problem with fish farming. And it just seems like whenever we tried to do anything, we were ignored. The issue is whether the effluent is properly treated, if at all, so that harmful pathogens are killed off. This particular plant is located on one of Canada's biggest wild salmon migration routes, and the blood water spewing from its pipe recently tested positive for a potentially fatal virus for salmon at the Atlantic Veterinary College in PEI. I can't say it enough that this is no longer a scientific debate. The science is there. It's proven that this, this is killing. This is going to kill and wipe out our fish. APTN asked the Department of Fisheries and Oceans what regulations were in place for treating effluent discharge coming from fish processing plants. The department said in a statement that it was generally the province's responsibility. So we asked the province, twice. They didn't give us an answer. But Jeremy Dunn, a spokesperson for the BC Salmon Farmers Association, did respond. He says the blood water is treated. With our plants such as Brown's Bay, uh, effluent is treated before it is released. It is treated to a, a very high degree in, in a treatment system designed uh, to kill fish pathogens. And we're certainly open to reviewing any of those processes and treatments uh, if the uh, regulators uh, would like to do so. The province is now reviewing the plant's permits and waiting on their own effluent test results. But First Nations say that isn't good enough. Isn't good enough. It just really, there, 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 there needs to be a more stronger push from both levels of government to not only sit down with our, our people and sit down with our leaders, but actually have a plan. And I really don't believe for a minute that they haven't developed some sort of exit strategy yet for this industry. The BC Premier has promised First Nations that they will meet to discuss fish farms, but no word yet on when that will happen. Laurie Hamlin, APTN National News, Vancouver.